the shack I was staying in was very bad. Was very bad. The stay, when, when the time is raining, the, the, the rain comes inside the house and the rain comes underneath the house and when the wind, the wind blows in the shack. So it's very bad to stay in the shack. This is our bedroom. We are sleeping here in this small bedroom. Me and my partner and the little one, we are sleeping here. The children sleeping down to that mattress. It's difficult to stay in the shack uh, because we get a lot of diseases. The children can't go to school. Because of circumstances that he's living in, he's got infected eczema. This is in the tiger that you see. And you can see that the wounds are so bad that it's almost like a third degree burn. He had running water in his house. And they could be using clean water to clean this child. But what's happening now is that they're going to taps collecting water to put in a bath and we don't know if the water's been contaminated between when they're getting it and pouring it into his bath. Our volunteers were deeply moved to see young families soaking wet inside their shack with rain pouring down all around them to see little babies soaked to the skin but it brought home the sad and terrible and unacceptable reality of how difficult it is to live in a shack. Yes, we did affected by the fire, but it was very scary because you, when you go to work, you, you come back, your shack is down, everything inside, you don't have clothes, your children don't have clothes, everything is burned. It's very dangerous to use the paraffin. The children drink the paraffin, and if you leave your paraffin there, he can come and take the bottle and take a matches because it's children, he doesn't know that that thing is dangerous. From last year, we're moving from the shelter to the house. In the house, I'm staying very comfortable because I don't get a rain anymore and no wind blows inside my house. I'm staying very nice with my children in the house. This is my nice kitchen to make my children's food and to clean my kitchen, to make everything nice for my children. I'm very enjoy for this. I think the Nile Island Township Trust is unique. We're not just building houses. Our trust is embarked on a large-scale skills training component, focusing primarily on construction-related skills training. The aim of the program is twofold. On the one hand, we want to afford people the opportunity to get qualifications for the experience that they have, or those that don't have the experience to gain that. And then on the other hand, obviously it benefits us in that our houses are then of a better quality. We have short-term courses, which focuses on bricklaying, painting, plastering, um, electrical and carpentry but then we also have for subcontractors specifically we have supervision construction management health and safety what's important is that we don't only offer this construction related skills training each and every training program of ours is complemented by a life skills training program um, because we we know that by giving somebody a skill you're giving that person an opportunity to earn an, a better income. I'm a South African receiving training by Mialang Housing Trust. Oh, I, was, I was getting the painting course training and the life skill training and it was taking 20 days. I'm a subcontractor now so I learn how and I have my own people who work for me. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the training helped me to achieve that. I employ South Africans and uh, we work for the whole year during the year. It is a vital part of our mission to not only provide houses, but also to engage the people that we are helping and give them the skills and the training that will stand to them for a lifetime. This is my house and I'm so happy. I don't know how to thank you guys. I appreciate it so much because today I've got home for my kids. I'm very happy. Thank you very much. It's better now we are going to the big house. Everybody's gonna sleep well. I've got my own bedroom. They go, they have their own bedroom. So nobody's gonna bother anyone <laughs> anymore. <laughs> you want to do? Is it a 
dining room, my kitchen, children's bedroom. We are grateful that the Irish came here to build the house and leave their home back there to come and help us build the house. So thank you very much, Irish, and may God bless you.